my name is Jeff and I will show you how to add a root motion to your animation using 3 Studio Max. Uh, the thing that we are going to use is a little free script that you can get on ScriptSpot. Uh, it's called um, Sticky Lock. Basically this script copies uh, the keyframes from one object to another. We can't use it directly onto our uh, skeleton because it won't really work. But you should download it, uh, add it to, to uh, your 3 Studio Max and just there's, there's installation uh, pro the, the installation process is described here so you can basically install it without any problems. Anyway, I've got a basic run from uh, animation here. Uh, the running an animations are uh, most difficult, I, I, I think. And the script puts uh, the stick lock plugin looks like this. You've got the uh, child object, the parent object, uh, the keyframes you wanted to uh, use, uh, the bake, and the re reset button, reset button, but it's very important we're gonna use it a lot. So I've got my uh, skeleton here, my basic, uh, well, character I'm gonna use, and I will select the, uh, this is the uh, select tool, you can select uh, the bones here, I'll select my root bone, if it selects uh, everything, y you uh, all of the bones, um, like this, you have to press Ctrl C. Then it will uh, select only uh, one element from the uh, hierarchy and not all of them. So Ctrl C is the toggle button for that. Okay, so I'm gonna select the uh, root bone and also uh, the well feet bones, like that. I'm going to hide geometry and hide and select it. So I have only the bones that I'm interested in. OK, and again, uh, show the geometry. I'm going to freeze it like that. OK. So I've got uh, my bones uh, prepared here. I'm going to move that out. Uh, what we are going to use, we are going to use dummies. Dummies are great tools to uh, well work on anything that you want to edit okay we are going to add the offset to our root bone right here oh i can see that i s broke something okay now it's now it's going to be better okay so um this is our left leg this is our right leg now what i'm going to do i'm going to link them to our bones and using the parent, I'm going to move them to the parent position, like that. And I'm going to unlink them. Okay, this way, both are located in the uh, exactly at the location of our bones. Oh, I see. I uh, link that to the root bone and not to the uh, uh, foot bone. Sorry for that. Okay. Uh, I can link that. Uh, now I'm going to bake uh, the keyframes from uh, the foot bones, feet bones, to the dummies. So I'm going to select the child, the parent, and do a bake. And you can see I got something like that. And with a second, oh shit. Uh, exactly the same thing with the second one. Uh, so, um, child, parent, bake. Okay. Let's move along. Now I need to delete uh, the rotation and Z push position from the dummies. So I'm going to select Z, rotation, Z, position, rotation because we want, don't want our root to rotate or um, change its, its, its position in, in the z-axis because that won't, that's not a good idea when we're running. 
straightforward. So it should lo look like this. Okay. I'm just gonna put that to zero on the z axis. Okay. So I've got my left foot, right foot. Now, a uh, little trick. I'm gonna show you a, a little trick that I use. I need to mirror the animation. Well, basically, not really mirror it, but uh, rotate it 90 degrees. So, I took a dummy, on oh the dummy, linked both of them to the master dummy, and just rotated. And now I have exactly opposite animation to the one that I had before. And now we are going to uh, look at the uh, overall animation, how, how it looks like. Uh, basically, I'm gonna move that out because it's like this. And like this. Okay. I got the right bone, so I need to switch them. It's gonna be easier. Okay. So. Uh, the left leg. Left leg is on the ground till frame four. Then to frame five, it goes up. So these are the frames that we are going to bake to the root. So we are taking the root bone as a child, left leg as parent, up to frame five, and starting from frame zero, bake. Look at that. Okay. But it's not... there's something wrong with this frame here, right? You can see that, right? It's going really far on these frames, and on these frames it's going like one-third of it. So we are going to, you to, to offset it manually. You can see it here when I hit trajectory in the movement. You can see that there there is a big difference uh, in, in, in the... Uh, um, length uh, that uh, is, is, is transformed during the previous frame and the current frame. So we're just gonna auto key and move that away. Okay, so this is more or less done. Now we're going to take our root bone as a child and as a, as a parent right. From five from fifth frame until I guess it's gonna be it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be 13. Yeah, it's gonna be 13. Uh, you have to remember to move the slider back to the starting frame because this script uh, might break. Otherwise, I had this weird, weird behavior when my uh, my root bone just drifted away in random direction. No, no, no idea why. Okay, so I'm gonna bake that and have a look. Okay. It looks not bad. Now we've got this thing here. You can see it right here. What the hell is going on here? Okay. Gonna move it a bit on the X. Okay. Is it good? No, it's still a little bit more. Okay. And now from the frame 13 to 18, uh, left leg and bake. And it should look like this. Okay, uh, frame 7, that's the 17 frames here. Okay. So now you can see that my animation is rooted. I can get, get rid of the dummies now, close the script. Very simple way to root any animation you want. Uh, the most difficult animations are the turning animations because you have to take into uh, you have to take the turning into account. So so this this you would have to uh, figure out on your on, on your own. Okay. Uh, hope you can do something with that. Uh, well, that's it. Have a good night, day, whatever.